the place is that uh, and we have the youth here. Cho boy! Youth! 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 Power! Power! Action! I'm so excited to be here this afternoon. I'm Karen, by the way. I love ice cream. And I love my Saturday morning watch. Of course, with plain tishito. Anyways, yes, with Willie. Anyways, this afternoon's conversation is not about my favorite atomic watch. December 7, 2024, is a big day for young girls like me. And my girls and I want to tell you why. I came here with some of my friends. Gifty, Elsie, Priscilla, and my very adorable Selma Yoda, former team president of KNUSD. <laughs> Young girls and women like us do have dreams. My dreams actually scares me. I want to be a great woman, and I want to be a responsible leader in our dear nation, Ghana. As young girls, we understand that we must coexist and work together with other men and women to advance the cause of gender parity and ensure our country develops. Yet, are you not surprised that when a woman is running for SRC president in our universities or training colleges, it becomes so shocking that she's doing so? It is like she shouldn't be venturing into that arena. It's not a space. Most of you listening to me here have probably attended universities and know that what I'm saying is the truth. That the SRC precedent is for males and that women should be put into a small corner and must be content with roles like women's commissioner, general secretary, and treasurer. Yes, women's commissioner. In some of our middle schools, the boys are automatically carved out to be the head prefects, and ladies ask to be assistant girls prefects. In our schools, the boys prefects are automatically carved to deliver the school speech and prize giving day speeches. On occasions where folks are needed for a speaker for vote of thanks, or someone to share item 13, or the ashes, we look for the ladies. We have unfortunately and unknowingly been teaching our girls that top leadership is not meant for them. When a woman becomes MD of a company, it's historic. When she becomes a vice chancellor in a university that probably has more females than males, it's historic. So we often hear the first woman to do this, the first woman to do that, the first woman to be here. But we never hear the first man to do this. Hello? Hello? We are in 2024. Our country gave women the right to vote at independence. We are a country that should adore and encourage women to be great leaders, breaking barriers, and leading should be a norm. Oh, if you are clapping, clap better. <laughs> Prof. Nana headed UCC as vice chancellor. And her stellar performance in that university has contributed to its elevation to prominence as a leading public university globally in research. She became cabinet minister and ended her tenure as minister for education, unblemished without an allegation of even a city stolen by her or in her name. This is a woman who was elected to the executive board of UNESCO. Yet, when she was announced as running mate, NPP top guns, purchased Facebook bots, and rented media started framing her as grandma. 
in the name of political cynicism and take without taking a moment to reflect over her achievements in 2024. Hmm. Indeed, a leading MPP political figure questioned President John Mahama for choosing a female running mate right in our House of Representatives, our Parliament, in 2024. A place where out of the 275 members, we have only 40 to be women. In a republic where there are more women than men, I don't know what they were thinking. But we young people, we love our grandmothers. And in fact, Professor Nana Jane Opokwajiman is a super, super cool grandmother. She reminds us of what we can achieve if we aim higher. She is a powerful reminder that with perseverance, young girls like us can bring something to the table. That your wife, your sister, your mother, your daughter, and probably many other young girls like me can become the vice president or president of Ghana. Are you clapping for that? And that is why she's opening the door for all of us. She inspires us to dream, to be successful leaders in banking, academia, business, and many others. We have confidence in President John Dramani Mahama, in spite of the naysayers against his choice by the people. Standing in the way of progress of women, he stood his ground because he is visionary and understands fully well the importance of opening the door for women. This means a lot to us women. Can we give a round of applause to His Excellency John Dramani Mahama? Hello, my fellow young women. Are you there? Oh, my fellow young women, are you there? I can't feel your Vimo. Are you there? Are you there? Oh, can we shout? Let's go out in our numbers. Come the Zamba 7, 2024. Let's go out there and support our super, super cool grandmother, Professor Jane Nana Upokwajeman. I call her the selfless, the experienced, the incorruptible Auntie Nana, and myself, my girls and I, and all the boys out there who were equally born by women, officially outdoor her today, her campaign. I'm with her campaign. Yes, we are with her. We are with Professor Jane Nana Opoku Ajeman. Let's go all out and campaign for John Jamani Mahama and Professor Nana Jane Opokwajeman. This is a forward fight for our democracy, and I invite every woman, young or old, to join in this fight. In the name of Gamanya Yajem, Gamanya Bialo, Mita Mayue Gafio Dani Mashibiene, Mingba Nefai, Kajakbene Kayane, Efiye No Bacho. Obaka John and Jane, meaning care. If you know about your back and mini, if you know about your back and mini, a jacket will obliged or blind here. John, Jane, I'm a Jamaican, 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 I'm a